Right then, using back camera for doing a bit of videoing. I've just climbed up a steep hill. <sighs> Skirting Evergorge. Now, <sighs> I don't think this is the way I came before. I really can't remember. <sighs> I don't really care either. Um, there's a style there. I'm going through there, through and over there. I'm heading that way. It looks like you can get back into the Ebber Gorge area here though, if you wanted to, but, but I'm not doing that now because of time. Another slanted gate. Yeah, I didn't, I don't think I came through here. I can't remember really where I came last time. I can't remember this bit, but obviously that lead you into the Ebber Gorge, but we're keeping away from that now. We've done quite a bit of that today. We've done the main parts. <sighs> There's no cows. Yeah, we'll just walk round the... We're just going to walk round the, the Ebber Gorge. A place where I was earlier. I've been on the cliff edge. I've been down through the gorge, down the steep stream. Then all round, climbed up some very steep steps. So I've done all that, everyone. Like I said, I can't tell until I'm on the top. I haven't, I can't really tell me bearings. All I know is eventually I'm going to end up at that style that I said I wanted to get onto later in order to do the return walk. So it doesn't matter that I've come this way, it didn't matter how I went round Ever Gorge, I've been through it. I can see a trail. Anyway, so I'm just following this. And whether it takes, if I'm leading away and I should be over there and I could get there now, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter now. I'm doing this route. There's no panic for a bus or anything. Evidence of something though, look. Yeah, we're, we're going the right way. I mean, obviously I could have perhaps gone straight across that field, but I don't want to do it that way. I want to go back. the way I wanted. I wanted to skirt the wood. There was a path I thought I could have used but I didn't know where to join it. That would have brought me back over this way somewhere. Um, I'll explore that another time. It's always good to leave a few things left undone. I think because then I've got something to come back and experiment with another time. So I've got the smaller camera, the other one's charging up in my pocket. <laughs> I think that's a better idea really. But of course with this particular camera you can't, you can zoom on movie but not on um, stills. It comes out white or blurred. 
through damage somehow. <sighs> yeah, some of this does look a bit familiar, but I remember turning back because I knew I didn't have a lot of time. And on, on that particular occasion, I didn't. So now, really, I'm just coming back to consolidate what I did last year. <sighs> And this will all be, if we get closer, I'm basically, I'm skirting um, Eber, Eber Wood. I'm skirting it, basically. There's a stile over there I'm going to be getting to. We'll just have a look down, in case there's any features we recognise. <sighs> yeah. So basically, I'm just going to be walking around a couple of fields videoing this sort of thing. So I'm going to stop. There's a vid there's a soil over there I've got to get to. <sighs> These fields will be out of bounds to me in the summer because of cows. I'm just hogging the bank at the moment in case I see anything or recognise a track or anything like that. It's very fenced off here. This is probably overhanging the gorge, you see. It's funny, I met a woman on a chestnut horse and this girl Jane I met, a woman I met today, she uh, also met her as well. Yeah, so here we've got Ebba Gorge down there. So I'm sort of above that valley I walked down through earlier, basically. And I'm going to be um, climbing across the stile and, going, and still following around for a minute. Over and out. <laughs> 